this past weekend we finally finished a project that's been in the work for months. This used to be a dining room and we decided to turn it into my office. And it was a big project and it took weeks and weeks. But the thing was I would work on it on the weekends and getting the space closed in wasn't that bad. That actually went pretty quickly. But the last little bit took forever. And that's what we're gonna talk about. I'm on my way to have lunch with a client, talk about doing some future work. I'm on the island and it's nice coming to the island except for the traffic. The last 5% of a project always takes like as much time as the first 95%. It, it's like the small details, it's getting things finally signed off on, polished, final draft, whatever it is. There seems like there's a lot of progress from zero to 95%, and then it seems like to get from 95% to 100% takes forever. So let's say you're a really good project manager and you come up with a plan to tackle this whole thing, whatever it is that you've gotta get done. And you have your start, start date, the kind of the kickoff event, and then you have your finish line. And this is when you know that you're gonna be done. And in the middle, you have all these little milestones lined up, these tangible, measurable things where you can see progress going along the way and they help people know where they're at in the project and how much farther it is to go. The problem is when you get to this last little bit, you finish all of these and you've got this last little milestone and this is the part that kills you. This is the part that causes you to go over budget. This is the part that causes you to get demoralized. This is the part where people quit. This is the thing that if you can master this part of project completion, you'll be very, very successful. So my suggestion is you go back and you set up a whole new project plan for this piece. Spend time focusing on this piece and then figure out what are the specific milestones within this piece. And then people will have a better understanding of how hard it is to get this last bit done and how they absolutely have to focus their time, their attention, their energy on, on these milestones, these little individual ones that make up this space over here. Because that's what happens. People get frustrated. They get demoralized. They get fed up. They they fail to appreciate how hard that last little piece is. And if you can build that into your project planning, then you're gonna have a much easier time executing. You're thinking, I mean, you're telling me that I need to stop and plan? If I just get the stuff done, if I just work my butt off, it'll, it'll happen. You know, you, your problem is you sit around and think about this stuff too much, right? That's what you're thinking. I don't have time to do a project plan. You want me to open another spreadsheet? Da -da 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 -da. It doesn't have to be crazy complicated. This right here, this little guy, this is an index card. I can get it in the shot. That index card is the best project planning tool that's ever been invented. All you gotta do is take five minutes, 10 minutes tops, write down all those individual milestones for the last 5% of that project. Figure out what are the things, what are the speed bumps that are gonna get in the way, put them down on paper, share them with the team, get them out in the open, know what to expect and get the job done. That's it, it's pretty simple. But if you don't do that, you're gonna get frustrated that last 5%, trust me. See you guys tomorrow. And these are the kind of props that you have when you got a baby in the house. Lots and lots of Cheerios around here. <laughs>